Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is for the new moon in Capricorn that unfolds on Friday, January 26, 2017 at 13 degrees of the sea goat. At every new moon, we have sun and moon together, standing in front of the same constellation, and at this time, it's Capricorn. As I sat down to drop in with the star beings for this new moon, synchronistically, simultaneously, the sun broke out. The bright sun came out from behind the clouds, and I felt the power of Capricorn, and I felt the urgency to make things concrete. I also saw a bunch of adorable little goats. Yeah, the whole herd of little goats. <laughs> Two goats. Bah. And they came to me and started nibbling on my clothes and kind of pulling me along. I don't think goats go bad, do they? Dragging me down a path. And I came into a field that was uh, lit up majestically with sunlight. Uh, with a hyper detail reality. There was clover everywhere and every little leaf stood out in um, vibrancy and clarity. And then from there they continued to guide me. To where, you ask? Up. Straight up. I found myself in an environment where I was moving in ways I normally would not because of my own fears. This is a guide for us. This is an invitation into a larger view, a meta view of ourselves, into a place where there is no fear, where we are not fearful. I think we're all familiar with the fridge magnet. Um, what would you do? What would you attempt to do? What would you do if you knew you could not fail? This is the time to contemplate that question. Take a look in, vision style. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Uh, what if you weren't fearful? What are the limits that hold you back? Or no, I don't care about what they are. What would you do if those limits weren't there? That's what's really interesting to us at this new moon. And the environment of clover in high detail and rich vibrancy, what's that about? Well, that is an indication of all the details that are coming at all of us right now. This visual splendor, the details, they can bewitch us and draw us in until we're really busy and we're moving a lot, but are we actually getting anywhere? The goats are here to help us. What sound do goats make? <laughs> the sea goat brings both details and the big picture. These goats reminded me to climb up higher beyond all the little details that are gathering around me and starting to rise up, a whole sea of them, right? Hmm? Sound familiar? And these goats helped me to rise up all the way into a high mountain sanctuary, a place where I could sit and put forward the inquiry of what is my full potential without my fears. The influence of Capricorn lights up your full potential and lets you get a look at it. I invite you to ride the waves of Capricorn sunlight to challenge what you think you're capable of in 2017 or any time frame that you choose to put on it, but more than just these two weeks. If the details are getting you down, let me share another part of the vision in which this herd of goats was just moving through that all of that clover, just chewing it up very quickly. And this is to remind us that, hello, we have allies. Wake up each day with a positive attitude as best you can and wake up and invite, give permission to your angels, guides, allies, and to Capricorn to help you discern which details matter and which don't. Which details are actually feeding your progress towards your professed goals and which ones are not. And when I say details, I also mean emotional content, right? The details of our own uh, consciousness, our mind, our heart, the things that are bubbling up, the drama. These also can use the same uh, medicine that Capricorn's offering of discernment. Because now more than ever, the emotional and political landscape is clamoring 
to swamp you with titillating, visually exciting, super important information filled with details for you to watch, absorb, and learn to research, figure out more about, ask more opinions of. Now more than ever, our attempts to be effective and not just swamped, to be balanced and not just buried. These are our challenges now. I saw how the sea goat found foundation and roots regardless of mountain or sea. I felt the stick to itness and the willingness to simply roll up one sleeve, bring the next task to hand and move into it with a sincerity of heart, a commitment to one's long-term goals, and a purity that was really quite charming. In these most challenging of times, allow the sea goat and its light to be not only a beacon for you, but literally a nourishment. Invite in the steadying forces of Capricorn who can navigate down to the cave at the sea's bed where mysteries live. Invite in the calm power of the sea goat who safely climbs with you to heights of your own potential that you haven't even imagined and carries you, walks with you, lends its stamina to you to embody more of that full potential. Commune with these energies, friends. This is not conceptual. This is real. It is in the sunlight, which is accessible to you all year round because we show our face to all 12 zodiacal beings every 24 hours. But the one who comes through the sun has the ability to reach us best. And right now, it's the sea goat and Capricorn. Open, open to receive. Well, that's it for me in this hyper detailed environment full of so many small little things that all come together to make the beautiful one within which we live. May you find Capricorn extremely beneficial to you in this cycle. Thanks so much for watching The Lunar Lowdown with Sally Nerney. See you soon. Bye.